It's still a classic. It was written today. It wasn't written in 1960. It wasn't written uh, a centuries ago. Um, uh, so it was written with today in mind. But the beloved classic themes remain intact. The romantic triangle between Arthur, Guinevere, and Lancelot. The quest to bring order to chaos and the wish to return to a world that once was. There's a line, uh, the world and Camelot are two different places until they aren't. Aaron Sorkin's retelling of Camelot also brings together a diverse cast. Everyone who's coming to see this has to see themselves in this play. I think it's a better visual of America, the real America, and that's essentially what Camelot is about. Jordan Donica brings Lancelot to life. How could it be in springtime? My Lancelot is someone who is a fierce warrior, who uh, is on a mission to understand chivalry and the ideas of right and being right. And uh, he's someone who is on a journey of, of understanding love. It's now set in England in the late 15th century with Arthur as an actual king, playing the role Tony winner well, Andrew Burnap. It's a man who deeply believes in the best of humanity. The rain may never fall till after sundown. We're all again. By eight, the morning forest disappears. As for the plot? Is there a twist? I can't tell you that. You gotta come see it. Tony winner Philippa Sue portrays Guinevere. I feel like I have a deep responsibility to make her um, a real person with hopes and fears and dreams. There are no spells or magic. That's left to the power of the show's music. It's the special thing about musicals. It's a sort of weird, weird mixture of ideas and language and music, and uh, it can be pretty uh, extraordinary. Everyone has their own idea of Camelot. For this cast, it's an antidote to the culture that is coming apart. What I love about what we're exploring is um, the nuance and the gray areas of what it means to be a human and have relationships with people and, what, and how we navigate that.